Welcome everyone, welcome to the next maker session of our Ignatius Face Coding program which is uh, making an arcade game using make code uh, program uh, website. Now today we have used the make uh, before we have used the make code website to make a microbit games but today we are going to use this arcade option of the website. Now I will explain about the website when we are there also. Uh, for now, we'll go with this. Now, so what are the arcade games that you guys know? So one of the arcade games is Mario, which is the image uh, that is shown here, the GIF. And then there's uh, Contra and so many arcade games are there. So these games are highly less graphical than the games that we have today. And back then we had this huge consoles, uh, which uh, is the size of a chest drawer. It's the size of a drawer to play the arcade games and it was so good back then uh, compared to the technology we have today is like nothing like few megabytes right even though it was fun but uh, arcade games are less graphical uh, compared to the games that we have today so now it's not used properly here uh, today we are going to make an arcade game just to remember what the good old days right what are we going to make? Uh, today we are going to make an arcade game, especially uh, let's say a platformer game where you have to run in a platform just like Mario right? and the objective is to go through obstacles uh, without hitting the obstacles. I right? will explain when the game is uh, explained. Now what are the concepts that we are going to cover today with this lesson? Right? The concepts that we are going to cover today with this lessons are this. One is about the my make code arcade okay this, this make code arcade i will show you the website okay wait so this is make code arcade right as you can see it's very similar to microbit you have a simulation uh, simulator in the left side actually this is the game that you are making also uh, you have the simulator in the left side and then uh, you have the code in the right side and the, all the code categories are here in the middle also, we can switch between JavaScript to blocks in here. So that is make code target. I will explain that further when we are doing the uh, lesson. Now, what else are we learning? Velocity. What do you guys know about velocity? Oh, it sounds like a big word, but it's not. Believe me. So velocity is defined as the speed in a given direction. That means, as you can see in the picture, velocity is the uh, length let's we can say uh, the how far the vehicle is going see now from the big uh, now uh, look at the GIF okay so from the beginning the velocity is increasing okay it's increasing uh, focus on the velocity okay not the acceleration and then it reaches a point where it's supposed to stop the velocity goes down you got it so the direction where it's headed uh, we are using this for our uh, sprites as well today. I will explain how we are going to do that when the game is made. Okay? Now, acceleration is uh, very similar to velocity, but it is not. Okay? So, you, you see these three, three colored vehicles, red, green and blue. Those are traveling in different levels of acceleration. Acceleration represents the rate of change in velocity. I know it is very similar and confusing, but when you are making the game, it will become clear now this one uh, this every, each of these vehicles have different acceleration levels that means let's like, say uh, one is going to 60 at uh, the speed when we are going in a vehicle uh, the speed where which is good uh, the which the vehicle goes in the road some vehicles passes the others and go fast right so those have uh, higher acceleration and about the vehicle which goes very slowly like turtles right people blame them right they have less acceleration now so that is all about the concepts that we're going to cover let's see what's next okay so let's go on uh, let's do this and i'm gonna tell you about this new arcade game uh, website now here i will show you the website now i want you to go to this website uh, uh, url arcade.makecode.com slash hash okay go to that and click on new project i'll tell you from there how to make the game now when you go to that website this doesn't show up okay this is a game that we're gonna play 
now to explain how this works this is how it works actually i'm going to play this game and show you how it works okay let me get uh, full screen now uh, the only control that you have to do is jump actually is it's very similar to the dino jump game uh, we have in our web browser you know about the dino jump right okay So this is a dino jump game in our in the web browser you might have seen this whenever you lose internet uh, you see this dino jump okay so this is a dino jump i was talking about so our game is very similar to that okay our game is very similar to that we just have to uh, avoid obstacles okay this is wrong but still so you have to avoid ob obstacles in order to read the highest score so that is very similar what is happening here okay so whenever you press any button the character jumps character name is Dito I don't know why I named it <laughs> you can name it whatever you want okay it's very simple see if you hit the vehicle game over high score shows that's it Okay, I try to beat the game, that's why we have a high score of 160. <laughs> okay, now so that is our game. Now, to start, you can go to make code arcade.makecode.com, which is the URL which I gave you. Okay, so now when you go there, this is what you see. Okay, when you go there, this is what you see. Uh, this will not be there because this is the first time that you are using it but the rest of it will be there so these are the published game which we have in uh, make code arcade okay so the make code arcade is used to uh, make arcade games just like this okay see galaga is a very old game so these are the things people have made and shared with us okay i'm Ra raptor run is the one i talked about it's very similar to the game that we have in our google web browser okay so when you go to web browser click on new project and give your name here now my one is dito jump you can give whatever you want okay now click on create when you click on create a empty worksheet will appear so this is our workplace okay so I think you guys are familiar with this because you, I have already explained this in the make code uh, microbit microbit make code editor this is exactly the same thing okay the only few things are changed we have the simulation here whatever you do here will be displayed here okay I, I showed you know here okay. okay see this is the code this is the game I will close that so very simple we even have the same block see on start block as microbit very similar to that now first thing we have to do is create the sprite hope you guys understood this because uh, this is very similar to make code we have the script here the script see very similar to microbit if you want to make a character yeah and once you do that I will explain how to do that okay once you do that it will display here okay so that is the way how this works now first thing that we have to do is we have to create a background right you have to create a background and a character so first we will go and create a background so you have to go to scene that is the scene that we are creating and select set background image to okay select set background image to we even can select a color like a plain color that's also okay set background image to you will still get that and put it inside on start block so on start the background will be set to this image so now we currently don't have image so it's blank will you can either draw image no we have the gallery but yeah, there's like only two of them okay so I'm gonna get this but you guys can draw it okay it's better if you guys can draw it 
so uh, since this is also a very similar uh, very simple thing it's better if you guys can draw okay so when you're drawing you can use a pencil see pencils colors it's very similar to paint i'm going to draw a sun here and going to fill it with color see it's very simple so these are things that you guys can figure out by knowing the very simple things that you have in the computer see like paint my drawing skills are very bad so sorry about this okay so this is uh, going to be our background totally up to you whether you want to draw it or not okay now first thing that you have to do is create the sprite it's very similar to the process that we have in scratch okay all these are connected yes microsoft is funding easy right <laughs> now uh, first we have the variables just like micro bit we're going to create a variable for our character go to variable and make a variable so the character name i'm going to put my character name as dito i like that okay so first thing that we're going to do is set dito and we're going to say how dito looks like okay so to do that you have to go to sprite here this is the guy okay we can either get this block entirely or you can just separate this one and connect it this is the same thing okay i will show you how to do that uh, that way so after creating the variable dito you go to sprite and then get this block and put it here so not my sprite that we're going to create dito now dito how does dito look like sprite empty of kind player okay sprite like this will be the player you can either draw a character or you can select from the gallery so i'm going to select from the gallery means i'm very very lazy now uh, let's say like this okay i like this dito okay, that's the dito which i had in my game also so how i did it is i got the block from sprite this one create uh, category and then added it to the our code and then went here clicked here and then i went to the gallery clicked on the character that we want okay that's how i did mm -hmm. if you want to change it you can change it whenever you want okay uh the images in the uh, arcade games back then even looks like this if you uh, take a uh, if you have this uh, trc monitors if you get a magnifying glass and look close to it you can see dots right those are called pixels so this is a pixelated image can you see i will show you the big one again this is a pixelated image the pixels on this pictures are less see in this picture there are uh, so many pixels so you can see that it's a, a single image but in this pic uh, picture there are less pixels that's why you can't see it as a whole image when you zoom in see when you zoom out slowly it uh, shows a picture right so that's the pixels okay that is my character and i'm going to set the character this way and then where does this guy going to show up from so you guys know when you are making a game you have to give a give the character a starting position to give that you go to yes you guess right it's in the blue one okay set my sprite position to x0 y0 you get this one keep it under here change this one into dito this is very important you have to select your character otherwise it will be default by default selected to my sprite that will become a problem now 
we do not want it in x0 and y0, we want it uh, somewhere around here. Okay, so this is very cool. Look at this how I am going to change the position of the character. Unlike uh, this scratch, you cannot just drag it and drop it in wherever we want. We have to do it like this. You click on the X icon, then something like this will appear. Can you see? When you scroll your mouse through this uh, square, you can select where the character needs to be generated. Somewhere around here, I will say. Okay. So, what I did was I clicked here and gave a starting position. Now, we have a character, we have a starting position for the character. Now, what we are going to do? What else do we had? Uh, did we have in the game? We had projectiles, right? We had projectiles coming towards the uh, character. So, to create the projectiles, you have to uh, draw a projectile low, you can uh, just select one from the gallery. Okay. First, to do this, you have to go to game block. Go to game, and then when we have uh, we have the thing called on game update every 500 millisecond. MS means millisecond. Uh, remember. So on game update every 500 millisecond we are going to create a obstacle. Obstacle means something which is coming towards detour. Okay. So, not 500 milliseconds, I am going to select 2 seconds because we need a, yeah, this game speed up. Okay. The game speeds up while you are leveling up. So, we have to give it some time to uh, start with it. Now, set projectile. We have to set the projectile to a certain level that means we have to create a projectile before we change anything in it no? so you go to uh, again sprite every projectile is a sprite okay and then we're gonna get uh, set project okay something we have here ah here set projectile two okay set projectile two I'm gonna keep it inside this, okay. And then, what is the projectile? What does the projectile look like? You go to gallery. You have uh, many kinds of projectiles. You can select a vehicle. You can select a taco. You have a duck. You have ice cream. So this should look like a, a moving object, right? Let's put a car. That's a car. I'm gonna put that car. That's my projectile, okay. Now, as you can see, it's moving. <laughs> okay, it's moving from uh, the top to the bottom. But we want does we don't want it like that. Okay, and we have to give it a uh, time to uh, start. And like there should be a pause in between while we are creating the uh, what do you call this projectile? Okay, so first thing that we have to give is the image. I'm gonna stop this. Okay. I we gave it a face. How does it look like? And then we're gonna create the speed for this projectile. Okay, I'm gonna set the set a variable called projectile speed. A speed for the projectile. See, it was uh, very easy. You go to variables and make a variable and name it as projectile speed. Now, what are we going to do with this projectile speed uh, block? What can we do? The first thing that we have to do is we have to store something inside it, right? We have to store the speed of the projectile inside this. How are we going to do that? So, we have to give uh, projectile y to 87. Before we start, we have to uh, start it from somewhere. Now. That means uh, we can say, ah, yeah. So the the both of these characters has to be aligned, right? The projectile and the character. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna give the same y location. See, so, uh, supposed to be aligned like this. No? So we're gonna give the same y location to the both. Y location in the character is hundred. So 
the projectile will be the same. So, go to sprite set. Gonna get this one, change projectile y location. Okay, change projectile's y location to what is this value? Hundred. Depending on your okay, this one changes from mine to yours because uh, the position of the character can be changed from each uh, game. Uh, the each user I can use it separately. So I use hundred because my character is in the in this location 8 to 100 so my y location is 100 depending on your y location of the character you have to give this okay so that is you have to be very clear about that okay now we have created this variable called projector speed right i'm going to use that i'm going to get it and put it here i zoom out so you guys can see i will minimize this okay projectile speed p y i'm going to make it zero at first it should be zero right the speed of the projectile is like zero you're going to start from zero and increase uh, when the game is going on now first we're going to say starting speed of this variable is zero and then you're going to start uh, going to increase the speed every uh, 200 millisecond that is what this block does ok now we go to right and in here we have this red block called uh, set projectile speed You can use one of these blocks okay don't worry i will tell you how to edit this you keep this above okay because at the starting you can just remove this i'm gonna keep it here okay set projectile and then we have to select this one as projectile speed remember everything is we just created one projectile okay projectile and then there's projectile 2 by mistake i created that ignore that okay we are only using the name projectile okay now here we are increasing uh, we are starting from 100 and then every millisecond it will increase so to do this go to maths who would have thought we need maths in games no <laughs> okay so we'll get this uh, minus block you go to math we have the minus block right so get that and then we get a mm, division division block in math so see how i connected it right first i got the minus one and then i connected to this one and then i got the division and connect through the second block of that now there will be one called uh, time since start so while the uh, projectile increases the speed we have to keep a track of when it started right so that's why we are using this block time since start milliseconds okay so we can put 100 uh, milliseconds here this is a speed okay you can uh, increase and decrease this and see how it changes the game okay i will tell you finally how to uh, set the score but it's very simple okay in this one we don't need to set a ending score we just need to create a score so you go to info and inside info we have uh, set score uh, sorry change score okay change score by let's say 10 so every two uh, 200 uh, 2000 millisecond that means to every two second a projectile will appear and its original speed will increase every uh, two seconds by 100 uh, and then 
uh, yeah it will set the projectile from uh, to this image and projectile speed will be 0 when it starts so the y location of the projectile is equal to the y location of the character you got it so it's aligned okay can you see this blocks and javascript is aligned see okay okay uh, that's a bad example <laughs> home icon and share icon is aligned in the same line right see can you guys see it's aligned the both of them are in the same line okay that's why we needed the same y location now so we have the scores even every two second a projectile will appear and increase our gaming game score by 10 as you can see here now we're gonna stop minimize what is next ah, our character should be able to jump right our character is supposed to be able to jump so how are we gonna do that so what is the button that we're going to use we can use any button if you want okay so we're going to use uh, let's say any button okay <laughs> this is the fun part about this is you can use this uh, option called any button okay ah yeah this is the guy that i was looking for okay so as you guys can see i just got this lock from controller this lock okay is literally micro bits everything is same and we have the option here as any I just click the down arrow and selected any and then when any button is pressed what has to be happen happening okay what should happen so we have to set the detox location so it has to jump up right remember we learned about velocity this is where we gonna learn velocity use velocity Set, set, set. The fun part about this is not my sprite, we're gonna say use Dito. Okay, we have to change Dito's uh, location, not Y location, but we're gonna say V Y velocity X. Did I, uh, do you guys remember I uh, telling you velocity is the change of direction? Let's say this is up, he is going to jump up, okay. So the y location, velocity of y location is going to change. Let's say 200, minus 200. Let's see how it works. So when I press any key, something should happen okay he went all the way up didn't even calm down <laughs> okay so now at least the jumping up works let's see how to uh, resolve the coming down part okay now jumping up is okay no? now about uh, coming down part how are we gonna do that okay so whenever you jump the y location changes right and then we have to give uh, a way to come down also so what is that now every time the game updates i'm gonna close this okay every time the game updates we have to okay this is the whole code that you created for till this point we're gonna put this in a loop because every time you jump you have to come down so it's a loop so you go to game on game update i'm gonna use and then inside it we're gonna use our favorite block if conditions i'm pretty sure you guys some of you hate it <laughs> it's very confusing to explain about if conditions no okay so if the detox y location is the starting location okay if detox y location is i use a comparison from logic this one okay if detox sorry if detox y location is less than 80 okay that means if it is going up that means right go to sprite 
you have the, uh, can you see this uh, minus y text block i'm gonna put it inside that if d toes y location is less than 100 because my starting y location is given in here so this is 100 right that's why i gave 100 here also so you have to be careful about what you use ah not equal okay less than if Dito's y location is less than 100 that means he's going up no that means he's going up right if the y location is decreasing that means he's going up if this happens what should happen set you go to sprite you have this blue block called uh, set my sprite to not this oh not this one. I'm gonna use this block. Ah, it's gonna use it. Dito. Set Dito. Hey, you guys can give a better name, okay? I'm really bad at giving names. AY location. I'm sorry, acceleration. I will explain what happens here, okay? This is the uh, time to come down, okay? So when you jump up, it takes time, no? The earth gravity is not that big. So when you jump, as soon as you jump, you come down. Can you see? Okay. Now it's not coming up, no? It jumped up. It's like floating. If I uh, let this button go, it will go all the way down. Okay. So this is the acceleration. If I reduce this, I will show you what happens. Okay. Did he come down? No. <laughs> Took a like five minutes to come down that is like moon gravity so when you jump up you go like 100 meters up okay so we don't need moon gravity here we want earth gravity so how are we going to do that we can uh, duplicate this block set detours ay acceleration y to zero and then you can either duplicate it i will show you the hard way to get it you go to set sprite uh, sorry sprite and then in sprite we have this block i got that and keep it inside this i'm gonna keep it inside this we don't need my sprite we're gonna need d2 d toes by acceleration not a y now this time we're going to use v y okay see there are two accelerations first one is a y acceleration y second one is a y acceleration y third one is v y velocity y okay all of them have to be zero okay let's see see how it works now and let's see what are our problems so as you see as you can see i can jump up i can come down with no problem at all what is that okay you can do double jumps as well can you guys see what happened to the car because of the equation you use now the car's speed has increased okay that is why you use that one. I will explain it this. That is why we use this equation. Okay, time C start every 200 millisecond, it will increase the speed by 100. Got it? Now something should happen, right? So wait, I'll get this into order. This is all the code that we made. This is the whole code that we created. I will show you a finalized code once we are done. So don't worry about not seeing the whole code. Okay. Now, 
what should happen when the uh, collision uh, gets detected collision means the character and the car that okay what should happen when the character hits the car to identify what we should do that then is we have to get a game over block yes we have a game over block here so we don't have to program those equations and all we just can use this this is pretty handy when it come to gaming okay so then we have to go to sprite this is the final part of our game so yay okay on sprite of kind player overlaps other sprites of kind player we're gonna use that and i'm gonna keep it here yeah i know it's very annoyingly long block so i'll just scroll down and keep it here so how i did it i'm gonna do it again you go to sprite in the sprite get the longest block like this annoyingly long block and keep it here and there's this block called in game game over keep it here so you can see say uh, what hap what should happen when the character touches the projectile projectile means a car right and this is the character we say you will lose right or you can say you win even okay uh, on what is the sprite sprite is the character dito and then player player is a character overlaps other sprite that means a projectile not player you get uh, you say game over can you see the speed is increasing of the projectile ah game over score says here high score says here so that is our game and this is the whole code that we created so far i'll keep it like this i think uh, that will be better for you guys to see did you use anything else oh, yeah here this guy the long block Voila, that's our whole code that we created. So, what happens from each of these blocks? This one is responsible for jumping up and down, jumping up and coming down, right? And this one is responsible for creating the sprite. This one is responsible for creating the projectile and the score. And this one is responsible for the control. Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed the retro and uh, if you want any help here if you want to take a screenshot i will put this as here okay so this is our entire code if you want to take a screenshot of anything and uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video this is not the only thing that you can do with arcade right when you see this you should have uh, limitless ideas for arcade games Hope you guys enjoy this and if you have any questions again contact us for, uh, for help enjoy we'll see you guys in the next session